Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Helen. It's a very beautiful morning here. So, once again, I'm back, and today we are going to talk about what you should know or what you should consider before coming to work in Iraq as a housemate. So, stay tuned. I'll be telling you three main things you should think about you should ask yourself before you come to start working as a housemaid in Iraq make sure you subscribe comment down below share your views tell me what you think about this video all right so tip number one you should know that before you come to Iraq First of all, if you are coming as a housemaid, mostly, you should ask yourself, are you really ready? Ask yourself, are you really ready to, ready to work for long hours? First of all, you work for long hours. So maybe it's like you'll be working from, for more than 10, probably 10, 11. 12 hours, working in the morning, sleeping late at night. Are you really ready? So maybe if you are thinking about working a job that you'll be maybe you'll be working for 6 hours, 5 hours, then this is not the one. So are you really willing to do that? Do you really have enough strength to do that? So you should ask yourself, are you okay with that? Number two, uh, it will be a two years contract. It is a two years contract. So if you are willing to come and stay for the two years, it will be okay with you. Because I had I had uh, I had them say maybe that they, they have changed the contract. So I don't know if it is it is has, it has already started here in Iraq. They said it will be one year, one year, change the contract, one year, after one year, change the contract. So I'm not sure if it's already started here in Iraq. But are you really ready to come for two years? Because if you terminate your contract, maybe in between, maybe you have a homesick, you miss your people, you want to go, you know, you're still new. You're not used to the long working hours. Maybe you want to go back home. It will be kind of impossible. You have to finish your two years it will be kind of impossible because one if you one you will you will be you will you will have to pay for your own ticket you will have to pay for the cancellation of the contract by yourself so it will have to take you should have you will have to use uh, your money to do your traveling back to your country so when you come here, I just know it is two years without counseling, without going back in the middle. So you'll have to stay until you're finished or until you're done with your contract. Of which some people do. If you get a good house, you can you stay, you finish your contract, some even add another year. It will depend. So ask yourself, are you really willing? to stay for two years without seeing your family, seeing your children, are you really willing to take that risk? So if you find that you're good with that, then you're good to go. Number three is a thing that I wish I knew before I came. Maybe I did not do my enough research. So when you come to Iraq, first of all, Iraq is a country that I came to learn that you don't have a, a Kenyan embassy, so you know what that is, or what that means. If you're willing to work in a country where we have uh, no embassy, maybe no representative from your own home, from your own country, you know, it's kind of challenging. It's kind of challenging. So, if you are really willing to work, to to work, to, to work. To come in Iraq, you should consider also that. So what you should do, because 
I'm still here in Iraq. So what you should do, you should look, you should, you should uh, really check out the office that is bringing you. Do your research very well. Make sure the office that is bringing you from home to here, from Kenya to here, from the can any, any African country to Iraq, make sure that the office is very well registered. Make sure that the office is known. Don't be don't let the agents lie to you. Maybe don't find a, a, a just a broker who will just take your passport and uh, make make travel documents for you until here. So you should be very very considerate of the office that is bringing you. Take your time, make your research, because if you come with a fake office, if you come with people that are not registered, it will be very very risky, especially here in Iraq because. As I told you before, Iraq is a country that does not does not have an, um, an um, does not have a, a Kenyan um, a Kenyan ambassador. Okay, so in case you have any problems, you you be you have to go back to the office. So if you came with a, a office that is not registered, not a, a good uh, a office that is not good, you will really have many problems. So before you come here to Iraq. Make sure you research very, very well in the kind of office that is bringing you. If someone can refer you to, to one of the good offices, I myself, I personally came with, with, with one of the best offices in Iraq. So we have been having good communications here and there. If you have problems, if you have issues, we talk about. They have been uh, following me up until today. I recently finished my two years. And I thought I should let you know before you come, you should, you should know that in Iraq, we don't have the Kenyan embassy. So you should come with a very good office. An office that's, that uh, an agent that will be, you'll keep good communication with, an agent that will be checking on you, okay? So that in case of anything, you have someone who you can talk to. All right. So I think you should ask yourself still if you are really ready to come to work as a housemaid in Iraq, okay? But uh, one of the good things is, is that um, one of the good things is that considering to considering of about the payments, I think Iraq is the is the best country that is paying so far. It's the best country that's paying their housemates. The salary is, is way better so far. A lot of people, yes, they fear to come to Iraq because of many reasons. But if you are that at risk, you are, you are that person who is willing to work, just as I, as I said, under those conditions, you are good to go. Ask yourself, are you really ready? You are good to go. So, those are the things we should consider before you come to work in Iraq. And then, uh, the weather changes. <laughs> like right now, it's very, sun, su it's very sunny. We are in summer. It is extremely hot. Extremely hot. So, if you're that person, maybe your body, you're not used to a lot of heat. Maybe you have, uh, you can have, maybe you, you get... You get uh, when, when you get a lot of heat in your body, it brings problems to you. So you should consider if you are really ready to come to work in Iraq. Maybe not just only Iraq, but in Gulf countries. So in Gulf countries, when it's summer, it's very hot, extremely hot. And when it is uh, winter, it's also extremely cold. Extremely cold. So your body has to adjust to all this. Okay? So if you have maybe uh, chest problems, if you have if you have uh, chest problems mostly, then you should also consider if you're really ready to come because you'll not come and, uh, and uh, maybe when it's, it's very cold, you start developing chest problems. You know, you'll not be able to work. And as I told as I told you before, it is a two years contract two years contract.
it's not an easy decision to make but if you, it's not an, an uh, easy thing to yes it's not easy unless you have made your decision very well that you are willing to stay until that two years is finished okay so I think this video will be helpful to you yeah it will be helpful to you it will help you if you are a newcomer if you maybe want to travel for the first time you should consider all this take your time and again uh, when applying for the visa to Iraq it is it, uh, it really it usually takes a lot of a long time so you should also be able to be patient it's not a thing that you will apply today and start ask and uh, and I wish it, and wish it will, it will come out tomorrow or after one week or two weeks the visa to Iraq it usually takes quite a, a while maybe after one month after two months after three months mine took three months before I got the visa to be able to come and start working in this country so you should consider all those things that I've talked about ask yourself are you really ready are you really ready to work here in Iraq a lot of we have we, we have uh, we, we shall we shall be talking about other things in my next video so subscribe press the notification bell so that when I post another video you shall be, will be notified share let me know your thoughts comment down below like my, my channel and let us grow together all right